Destiny went into Walmart, even though we were just at Walmart. That's where I got the freaking avocado that ruined my life. <laughs> Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at some videos where Amber Lynn is overreacting. Shocking, right? Let's go. I just got done crying. I stabbed myself and I've never, like I get little cuts or whatever, but I was opening an avocado. You guys know that stupid circle that's in an avocado. It's the seed. I don't know what I did, but somehow I went. That's not the knife. No, it's not. Um, I literally stabbed myself and I was gushing blood like I can't even explain it like and I started crying and freaking out Ugh, that stupid avocado circle claims another victim just a heads up if you're squeamish at all she's about to show the cut so might want to look away I had a puddle of blood she did in it my was full. Hand. like it was bleeding pretty bad like I can't I, I've never in my life done anything like this before I got it pretty and if you control. open this See, look this is how big the puddle was open it well, you can't tell because I rinsed my hand for like 10 years. It bled for a while though, but and I got it to stop. When you open it, you see the flesh okay. and it's super deep. Like I have never in my life done something like this. We have this. to go to Walmart and get her some but I need to gauze eat first. and hand wrap, but like, she wants to eat first. I'm trying to- The way Destiny says, but she wants to eat first, makes me think this is not the first time she's had to wait to do something until Amberlynn was done eating. I make the salad and for some reason, God stop me, but I don't care. I'm gonna keep going and I'm gonna eat my salad, but this hurts so bad. My whole hand is numb. Like right here is swollen as fuck. Yeah. Like, cause you just, it's freshly stabbed wound. It's not gonna be. I have literally skin coming out of me. What is that? Destiny went into Walmart, even though we were just at Walmart. That's where I got the freaking avocado that ruined my life. <laughs> and I'm sitting here with my hand on a towel it hurts so bad she went in there to get like stuff to wrap my hand in i don't know it's not looking good i don't know like i keep saying i don't know if i should go to the hospital i don't know if they'd give me stitches da, da, da. because literally it is so deep when i open it <laughs> i see things that i don't want to see it is absolutely disgusting you know what? Hearing her talk this way makes me feel like she definitely made the right decision getting out of the healthcare field. I have never done something like this before. I'm a very, very careful person. So when that happened, I was in such shock that I didn't even know what to do. And when I realized what was happening and blood was gushing everywhere, I started crying so hard. Like, so hard. And... I'm really actually scared. Like my fingers kind of hurt a little bit with it and like there's like numbness a little. Mm. I'm just hoping that once I wrap this up, it just naturally heals because the human body does heal pretty freaking quickly. I'm wishing for the best, I'm wishing for the best. So I ended up coming to the hospital. I got a tetanus shot just in case and they're about to give me stitches. This is the first time in my life I have ever have gotten stitches or needed to or anything and I'm terrified and I knew the cut was pretty bad so I'm glad I came so I can get it all fixed but I'm really scared. So just a few days ago, I posted the video of the time that Amber Lynn hurt her ankle. She sprained it. If you guys haven't seen it yet, I'll link it down below. I'd love for you to check it out. But it's just so funny seeing the contrast between now she's at the ER, she's going to have to get stitches, and she's pretty calm. I mean, yeah, she is overreacting, but she's not freaking out too bad. But when you see the time that she sprained her ankle, even just talking about it, she breaks down into tears. I mean, she talks talks about it like she got her leg blown off or something so it's just crazy to me the difference between then and now so this happened I got freaking stitches and I was the biggest baby about it but I had a student like do it and she was so patient and it just I I literally feel like I'm dreaming it's 5 a.m. right now super tired and <sighs> I'm just gonna go home and go to sleep. This night has sucked so bad. Like, 
Oh my god. And my whole finger is numb because they had to numb it. Oh, that shit hurt. <laughs> Okay, so next up is one of my favorite Amberlynn moments. I'm sure you guys will know why as soon as you see it. Here we go. I love you. Ooh, one glitter. Well, I can actually do Chris, Hang on. Hi, honey. I miss you. Oh. Don't get near me. The throat's really long. Are you going to pop me? Oh, yeah. Woo! <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's so hot. Uh, no. That one tickle really bad. <laughs> no. All right, let's go, Amberlynn. Your turn. You don't. Because <laughs> I haven't done it in forever. <laughs> I don't even know if I can jump. I don't want to jump anymore. Wait, I'm going to take off my shoes. Cause those are clod hoppers. <laughs> Wait, now this is slippery. Hold on, let me take off my Oh hands. my granny. I feel like a grandma. There it is. That ass is out of breath. <laughs> I don't know if I can jump anymore. <laughs> what the heck? My bad ass can't do this. Oh God, this is too cool. Yeah. That thing's really long. I didn't know it was that long. I'm gonna give you kisses. <laughs> oh my God. What just happened there? Did homegirl enter another dimension? Did the aliens take her? Like, what happened? The room. What? Good boy, CJ. But I let myself go. Ooh. I can't do it anymore. I'm like scared to jump. So you're right? Yeah. I'm stretching. <laughs> Hopefully that works. I don't know. I don't think I can do it anymore. Even when I was in Virginia, I could do it. Uh, you you have to believe hard enough. Uh. <laughs> One! Two! I, it continues it, it, this is to, a very strong to rattle earthquake. pretty strong here. 821 here on the air. We're experiencing very strong shaking. Wow. I think we need to get under the desk. All right. So now we're going to a few years ago. Amberlynn was live on You Now, and she had to face quite a large challenge. Jump in it! Heck no! Wait, I want to see you jump in it. <laughs> Wait, how do you jump? I don't know how do you jump. <laughs> Wait, look. what if I break something? And finally, we have footage of Amberlynn in a storm where she's almost taken out by a random leaf. Why does... Ah! Oh my god! <laughs> what? Yeah, she's running out there to save your ass because you couldn't be bothered to get up out of the car. What's happening right now? We thought it was a tornado. What do you mean? It's really bad windy. I got drenched. Oh my god, what's going on? I know. Are you scared? No, we'll, we'll just give it a minute before we leave. I am so scared right now. I thought an actual tornado was coming through again. That's why they all ran back inside. They were like, oh my God, it's a tornado. <laughs> Did they really? Yeah, I scooped up CJ real fast. I don't know if you saw that. Uh-uh. But I scooped up CJ and had the puppy. So they took them inside. And I'm, I'm like, I'm not leaving everyone in the car, so. Oh, babe. <laughs> but yeah, the only You're going, I'm going. Oh, Beck, that is so sweet. But honestly, even if there was a tornado, I don't think that car's going anywhere with Amber Lynn sitting in it. Oh my God, that is the sweetest but saddest thing. The only reason why I'm in the car is because we came to pick up her family and they just had to grab their bags real quick and come um, back to the car. But then all of a sudden, out of literal nowhere, 
the storm, this storm just started happening. We did see the clouds for it, which I do want to show you guys because that was super awesome. I filmed it on my phone. Oh, Look at those clouds, y'all. That is so freaking cool. You guys can kind of see it. It was like a lot better in person. Ooh, blurry. Hi. But wow, that was scary. I thought it was a tornado too. So I got out my camera and I was like, if I'm going to die, I'm going to die on camera. You know what I'm saying? Oof, I don't know if I'd be saying those words out loud, girl. Anyway, I hope you guys had fun. I had so much fun watching this with you. If you're not already subscribed, please consider doing so and don't forget to leave me a comment down below.